Yo, what's good, man? MBS Central, MBS Universe. I'm your boy, Keo. I got the bar Yo, God yo, Danny the bar God. Danny what's the good? bar God, man. I just saw some fire battles, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, these were some of the better battles. This was one of the better events of the year. Well, before we get to that, um, so we we, we wanted we wanted to um, what Danny's talking about is the OSBO Gates of the Garden event went down this past weekend on Saturday. Um, we wanted to get you guys the recap sooner, but um, obviously, um, Danny was um, he had he did back to back battles this past weekend. Um, so I wanted to make sure he got back in time so we could actually do the recap. Um, and then they kind of had issues on rap grid having the VOD available and the VOD literally just, um, they just had it uploaded this morning. So, um, as soon as the VOD came out, I hit Danny in the morning. I was like, yo, the VOD's out. Let's go. So we, uh, we actually rewatched these battles. Um, there was a couple yeah. battles that I wanted to rewatch, and um, yeah, man, uh, Gage of the Garden OSBO. Um, I thought it was a really good event, though. <laughs> it, it was good, though. You, you know, obviously, nothing ever comes perfect. Two battles did not go down, yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't get the uh. Um, we didn't get the bill, uh, the ace, and the kid slay. Those would have really set this event over the top. Mm. Those two battles, yeah, yeah. man. But and, even without those two battles, this is still was a, a very competitive action packed uh, so, event. So we got to put out event ratings. So uh, how 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 you got this event? How how you rate this event? One to ten. Man, it was a lot of. I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna go eight. Probably would. Probably could have got a nine or a ten. You know what I'm saying? Had those other two battles went down, but from what I saw, just the bars, the performances. Yeah, it was an eight, man. It's, it was. It was a lot at stake. It was the the this league versus this league, and I heard a lot of original shit this time, man. So they really. I feel like every rapper took this serious. They wasn't playing with it. They came prepared. Yeah, man, I loved it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. I'm giving it an eight, also. So I guess what we when we put the 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 workout, we, we're gonna put it giving an eight. I'll give it an eight, also. I thought it was a great marketing plan, good rollout. Uh, shout to uh, Frank White, who actually sponsored this entire event. Shout out. To <laughs> Shout out to um, shout out to Kells, Dre, Dennis, the Gates of Garden team, the whole OSB yeah, yeah, team. yeah, 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 yeah. So, salute to to all of them. Salute yeah, Frank man. White, getting behind the battlers and making sure that the the fans and the culture is getting entertainment and it's it's coming out of his pocket, man. He's and the stream organic. They put your money where your mouth is, man. That man, he's doing his shit. Salute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The stream went good too. Um, the stream went good. The battles were right on time. There weren't no any major delays as far as the event goes. No, nope. it, it went right on time. The only the only thing I did not like though they had they had Tr Sharp and Funeral Fame as the main event, and uh, that battle was very underwhelming. Um, it was uh, probably the worst battle on this card. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, um, I mean that that's them. That's what they decided. Well, well I, who won? Um, who they gave they, the money to. They for so from what I know from Frank White said that is, um, he said either they're gonna give the either he's gonna pick the judges and let them decide who wins, either he's gonna split the money with both of them, or um. Yeah, I think those are the options that he gave, which uh, he said on the spaces. Um, but the battle, man, it, it 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 was it was very disappointing, underwhelming, and um, it, they had it as the last battle of the night, a thousand dollars on the floor. I felt like, man, 
I don't know. I just don't feel like it was worth it. So Foots and Elijah straight got down. <laughs> you, you feel me? I would have had that as the main event though. Like um I just that battle, it just it just didn't go the way I wanted to. But as far as everything else, everybody was, you know, pretty much on point and it was a good event. There was no gas towards any so, nah, nah, nah. It was, it was, were, they it was were, pretty fair. It was pretty fair. They were, they were, uh, yeah, they, they loved the bars, man. And they, they loved everything from it though. So I definitely, um, I, st- I definitely give it an eight and I, this gates the garden OSB a card. I think it's going to set a tone for a lot of the league versus league events. This is probably the best league versus league event that I've seen. Yeah, and, I, uh, I agree. I agree, man. I thought this was the best league versus league event. And and, and with with and with the the thing is though, with um with this not being like a major league, like a URL or Chrome 23 RBE, the culture was talking about this. You had bloggers and media jumping on this. We were promoing this all week. This card was actually more talked about. Then the smoke room battles cards. We ain't gonna get to that, but um, oh, and that man. card had star studded top. Nah, that card has some dope, dope card. I just I don't know, yeah. man. I try to watch. Oh, we was, was watching great, the, uh, the the Av and the Big T joint, man. And it's like, what well, man? Who? Yeah. What's up with this stream, bro? What's going on yeah, here? Yeah, we'll we'll get to that later on this week, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, so um. With that being said, man, I actually scored this. I got to be honest now. I gave the I gave this to uh, Gates of the Gar- Garden, man. Uh, they won this five four to me. Yeah, it was a five four uh, win for me by Gates of the Garden. Um, okay, well, let, well, let's call out the winners real quick. Um, so the winners. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on it. I had um, I had Zeke beating Monty. I had uh, Jay Kruger okay. beating P. Black. Okay, agreed. I had Lady Caution beating Mallory X. I had some flair. So that, that one ain't so clear for me, but yeah, yeah. it's not well, so yeah, clear. Yeah, but we I'm gonna leaning get to towards that Lady Caution. Yeah, but go ahead. So flair soul. I had some flair soul over Saga. Okay. Um, I had Kang over Sinatra. I yeah. had Prez Mafia over Northeast Tay. Yeah, I had Foots over Elijah Strait. Yeah, I had Holmesy over Eunice. Mm-hmm. And then I, and last but not least, I had um, uh, Funeral Fame over Tr Sharp. Okay, and and so the the Gates, yeah, I agree. I agree, man. Okay, let's. I let's agree. The, let's. So I'm just gonna do this randomly. Uh, let's go to the first battle that we watched was uh. The Jay Kruger versus P P Black battle. Oh so man, Black, crazy! So when we man. did it, we did their did our predictions. We we both had Jay Kruger winning this one, and then P Black was like, "Yo, you about to you about to see, just watch." <laughs> so so what what right? What, so what what's up? How how you had this man? Man, listen, man, this was a. Uh, I'm trying to let me ask you this between P Black and Jay Kruger and. Puts in a lot of straight. What's what's the what's the better battle? You can only watch one going forward. If you can't never see the other one again, which one would you pick? Foots and Elijah Straight. So before that battle, before Foots happened throughout the event, I was like, Kruger and P Black is the best battle of the night so far. So if it wasn't for that battle, yeah, P Black and Kruger would have been the battle of the night. Yeah, um, yeah, I agree. I agree. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Like, and you know, me and you didn't even talk about none of this beforehand, so it ain't like we we collaborated and say, "Oh, let's just say this, say this." Nah, this is all live, right? All first verse, all freestyle. Yeah, and I Kelsey, agree. I'm, I, and I don't want to sound like I'm just agreeing with everything you're saying, but if that's how I feel, that's how I feel. Like, so you know, man. But listen, though, I'll say this. P Black definitely showed me like some. He showed me something, bro. Like I'm a believer now. I'm a believer. And the thing is, mm. I um I gave Kruger rounds one and three. 
P Black and Kruger was fighting back. P Black, P, P Black second round. I tweeted I was one of the better rounds this year. Like, especially when we're talking about drug, drug talk. That was one of the best rounds this year, man. He he went in. I ain't even want to go into all the bars because I don't want to spoil the bars for the people that didn't see these battles. But we will get into a bar breakdown once these battles officially drop. And we're going to break down these battles line for line. But off first watch, man, Kruger's, Kruger is, I mean, he, he need a big look, man. It's time. It's time, bro. Kruger made me feel like I need to come outside for three rounds for Kruger, man, over at the gates. <laughs> yeah, Kruger. Kruger's nice, man. I like I like what he had in this battle, man. Um, this and is he a... was rebuttaling. He was rebuttaling. <laughs> but so... P. Black is... I'm a believer now. <laughs> um, so the polls was... It was very close, man. Um, people did have Jay Kruger 56%. Over uh, yeah yeah Kruger, yeah 56, that, that sounds over 40, fair forty four man um I I'll, I will go through some of the bars man uh P Black in this first round I like how he started in the first man he said as soon as they said Kruger I said I I said had me a blade I was like oh that okay was crazy. <laughs> hand um, me a blade you know what I'm saying. Yeah, he said. Uh, he also said that you know I could have pulled up on Black Friday. I'll take half off. Yeah, he, had, uh, yeah. he, said, he said. I he said I never fucked. I I never fucked no bitch on their period. But I have your whole family running red lights. Mm -hmm. He ended that. Mm -hmm. He ended that in his first round. When the first round ended for P Black, I was like. Okay, okay. The crowd's behind them. Kruger was confident. He was like, yo, you're going to need more than that. You're going to need more than that. And Kruger was, he was bombing on them, man. Um, and I felt like the round was close, but I edged it. I edged that first round to P Black. Second round, man, P Black. I had them very clear, even though it was a dope, uh, it was a dope second round by, um, it was a dope second round by, um, by, uh, Kruger though I just I, I just I just felt um crew uh P Black more in this battle third round man third round was closer than I thought though man um I think it's gonna you know down. what you know what it, it, that third was close but I edged out I thought Jay Kruger just had a little bit more he really did Those man. rebuttals man they 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 you they they be working when they when they when I, they hit when they're creative when they're dope when they're not forced th that that shit makes you dangerous. And and with P Black uh, with with Kruger going second, those rebuttals ha he had a huge advantage in it, and those rebuttals actually hit. And I yeah. actually gave and I actually gave that battle to uh, Kruger, man. But I I would I wouldn't be mad if somebody said that, yo P Black took that battle because a lot of people say P Black won that battle. But I gave I gave Kruger that battle two one. I, I, I don't know. We gotta actually do a bar for bar breakdown because they was really it was it was a dope battle in terms of all six rounds. Both men were very creative. Both men, neither one of them backed down. Neither, neither one uh, of them backed down under no type of pressure, and they both uh, was comfortable. I do feel like I feel like. Kruger just had a few more slick, wittier things as far as the pin goes in in those rounds. It's it's almost like Kruger. It was it's almost like nothing he could have done with that second round, bro. Once once P Black ended his second round, I was like I, I I'm <laughs> Kruger ain't gonna be able to do nothing with this. But he did fight off the ropes. He fought off the ropes. Got got the fight back to the middle of the ring, but never could get. P black on his ropes as far mm -hmm. as that second round goes. So yeah. it was like you almost got out of that, but you didn't. And you know, no, that round was I, just too but powerful, yeah, man. I, but but the, P P Black came out this battle as a winner, though, even though I had him losing. Oh, he, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm gonna bro, I'm gonna definitely remember it and I'm gonna know this more of P Black when I want to see him. Down. I want to see him again immediately. Want to yeah, see him man. again, man. Um, the first oh. battle of the night that started was Amani versus Zeke. Uh, that 
that was a three round battle. Zeke ended up taking that battle to me. He he won in the votes by a by a huge margin, man. Um, um, seventy three to twenty seven. It was just, um, he was just, Zeke was just more clean than the battle. The, he had a lot of crowd control in this battle. And Monty wasn't just that clean. And Monty even said it too. He was like, yo, Monty was actually disappointed with his performance. The, yeah. battle, the battle after that was Kang and Sinatra. Um, I had Kang, Kang winning this. He won 77 to 23. Um, Kang was... Kang, Kang was talking to him though, man. Like he was like he was talking about his resume, what I what I do, what you can't do. Like yo, he was he was talking to him, man. And I, man, I like, Kang Kang Pen is crazy, bro. Yeah, he's very uh he's very underrated. Also, um, all right, so let's go straight to the next a battle, a battle that people's been talking about on social media. Holmesy the God versus Eunice, man. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna say this. Yeah, I, yeah. Let me just get straight to it. You know, Holmesy won this battle. Uh, I saw uh, Eunice. He Eunice agreed and said that you know, yeah, he got me. So I, I respect that. You know, I don't know if Easy started a trend where battlers are getting on camera and admitting they they lost, or you know, I've, I mean, I've seen it before Easy, but you know, I've I've been starting to see it a little more now ever since he said that after the Clips battle. But to see Eunice. Be humble and say, "Yeah, he got me." That shows that he's gonna be that much more scary next time we see him going forward. Um, and Eunice wild out this battle. I don't, I don't, you know, what I'm saying it's not, this not really one of those a loss where you just you lost and didn't gain anything. I think he he gained a lot of dope experience points. But I told you in the predictions, I keep telling y'all. The Holmesy is one of the smartest battle rappers in the culture. His battle rap IQ is as high as they get, and he's very difficult to beat. Um, Holmesy got a lot of battles, very few losses, very few clear losses. And uh, it, this was just one of those those educational things, man. Like Holmesy was showing, I, you know, you say levels, but that's that's like that's vague. That's that's like gray area. What is level? <laughs> he was showing. I know how to break down some shit that already been broke down. They, they, they everybody call you a virgin. I, I, let me show you how to properly do this. Let me show you how to properly break that down. Let me also talk to you about how you rap. You're a rap style, and the things you say. I, I'm, I'm finna break all this down and make you look a certain way. And he was able to do that. But I do think Eunice show. Uh, Eunice is a professional, bro. I see Holmes. He was trying to say we let niggas come into this shit over the spaces and shit. Nah, Eunice belong here. Eunice yeah, belong yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? He's not no face battler. He 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 uh, looked like a professional there. Yeah, you're gonna you you, you know he Eunice's career just started and um he's gonna yep. take he's gonna take those losses though, man. Like um I and I honestly feel like this. I honestly feel like I, I'm not. I don't know if he was focused on this battle. If this was like his a top priority for him, but I feel like campaigning for a gnome might have been a distraction, and I think he might have mm. overlooked, mm. might have overlooked and underestimated <laughs> who Holmesy is, though. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I really feel like that. I feel yeah. like he underestimated Holmesy. And he paid the and, price for that. And people you know talking saying? about and people talking about Eunice is on this little losing streak. I mean, you can't you can't say that though. But you you're gonna have you're gonna have those losses though, man. And it's not like you got bodied on the URL. Um, this is what's a one round. Um, I was surprised he lost at home because Eunice is like he seems unbeatable. You told me. You told me the home team is always going to win. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did. You, I, said, I, you said that, and I said, bro, I get I understand the philosophy, but Holmesy is a different type of beast, bro. Stop playing with Holmesy. Stop sleeping on you know. I tweeted, I tweeted Holmesy. I said, you know what? Maybe it's a good thing they sleeping on you. Because not because they 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 run into this shit every time. So you so right now, Eunice is getting 
getting a lot of slack and you know they're kind of getting on them in the comments on social media you feel you feel like he deserves that right now no no because he's losing in great battles if he was getting body bagged and he's choking and just getting his ass kicked then then maybe it's like all right bro calm down slow it down let's 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 rebrand rebuild figure out what we need to do he's actually losing to veterans bro I feel like honestly, the shit that he's learning in these battles, we'll we'll find out further on in his career whether whether, whether this is a good thing or not. And but, and and it's like going into the NBA when he signed up for that you signed up for the URL. Mm -hmm. You know, you knew he knew that the competition was gonna be easy, man. It, it wasn't gonna be like that. And yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. That's that's what, exactly what I'm talking about. You how you say you make that comparison to the NBA. It's like, okay, why isn't Eunice battling a lot more of the top 12 battlers first? They need to all battle each other first and gain that 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 very precious experience before moving on and battling the vets and the, the guys that have been here 10 years or more. And now you just no. that's well, it's not like, working. Is you, you see battle franchise? I, I told you franchise was gonna win that battle. Franchise the vet. We battle Any, homesy. Anybody, homesy the vet. anybody that 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 that's gonna battle Eunice moving forward, you got the uh, homesy just put out the blueprint already. This angle is gonna be used on Eunice until he addresses it. Address like, what, but what is the angle? You're, you're a virgin, is that the yeah. thing? Is that what it is? You're a virgin, uh, you don't so, get no pussy. So, he's no matter, supposed to go no, matter out what, and, no matter what anybody says, they're gonna use that angle against them. Yeah, it, of course, it, it's it's gonna gonna be, they're gonna they're, they're going to. You're right, you're right. But I, I will say it, this, even though it may not be true, I don't know if this is true or not. If even though if it's not true. They're gonna use it on you no matter what. Until he addresses like it, right? Like, like things about you that's a, an angle that's been used on you, it, it, and it's not true. How long? How long have they been continued to be using the same thing over and over? You think they're not gonna right. do that with Eunice? No, that's what I said. I agree. They're definitely gonna use it. Um, but when 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 does it wear out? Like, when does it get old? When does it, like, why do we still keep giving that point? I guess you could keep giving it points as long as it is true. But I also feel like I don't want Eunice to feel pressured to run out and go go have sex before he's ready to do that just for the sake Maybe. of I did it. Now y'all can shut up man, about it. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what goes on that that man's personal life. Maybe maybe he does get females. Maybe he he does have a girlfriend. Man, I, we don't know that. But at the end of the day, people are gonna use that angle, and I think Eunice is gonna have to address that. He's gonna he's gonna have he's gonna have to use some type some type of performance to be like yo. I like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just feel like the next whoever battles him, you think you th because obviously <laughs> there there was a there was a rumor that he's he was he 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 wants smoke with JC uh, possibly on gnome. You think JC is nah, not he not he think, not ready for you that? Think, man. You think JC is not going to use that angle on him? JC's good. JC's yeah, good. Yeah, Eunice, please, man. If JC, <laughs> JC loves angles. Look what he did is against Sharon in the second round when they battled. No, oh my God. Sharon, man. Sharon, had, Sharon, Sharon had no rebuttal at all. You couldn't rebuttal that. And, you and couldn't comes, rebuttal that. And when it comes to angling, uh, Holmesy, he, he, he's very underrated when it comes to one of the best anglers. Oh, he's one, of the, he's one of the best anglers, absolutely. Absolutely. We, talk, we don't talk, but we don't talk about um, Holmesy as one of the best anglers, though. When we talk about the best anglers, we talk about the guy that you're going to be battling soon. Some guy named oh, yeah, 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 yeah. T Top, Mook, Real Deal, um, even Sharon. Uh, these are some of the better anglers in battle rap. That uh, even Geechee, I'll throw Geechee in there too. Geechee know how to take an angle and really go crazy. Uh, but Holmesy put Holmesy name in that same hat with everybody else too, though. Like, let's not let's stop playing with Holmesy again. But now, so you're saying he has to address this um angle 
his next battle? Yeah, because if he doesn't, the whoever's going to be battling him, they're going to use that angle on him, man. And and, and it, it, I don't think it'll automatically guarantee a win because I, I feel like this. People, people say the same angles about me every battle, and they don't help them win. They don't, they don't know who's who's beating me with these angles. Nobody wins with that. You still got to be firing. That's that was oh, the difference the thing, in this battle. No, no, Holmes he was thing. able to use it, but he also did a plethora of other things to go along with that angle. If somebody only got that angle for units, they're gonna lose. Right, but, but but the okay. But the <clears throat> thing is though, with you, you you've been in the, in this culture for a very long time, longer than anybody that I know, and you're still doing what you do. And you handle it very good. With Eunice, he's barely started his battle rap career. And there's already an Ooh. angle being used in him early in his battle rap career. Like, really? <laughs> like, when, when did that well, Welcome started? to the big leagues. No, 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 no. When you get in this <laughs> league, it ain't no coddling, ain't no holding no hand. You said you ready for this smoke. You out there now. You in the game. You in the game and you calling out. Let, like you want JC, you want Danny Myers, you want these big names, bro. You need to fight them, the, the other him, guys that came him, in the class with you first. You tell him, you telling me if 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 the URL call you right now and say, "Yo, um, we want you to battle Eunice on volume." You would, you not gonna use that angle on him? If I if I if I brought it up, it would be a bar. It would be a punch. But I wouldn't drag it out for eight bar, twelve bar, sixteen bar, because I'm not even the angle guy like that for real. Like you know me, I'm not. I don't really care about that. You know what I'm saying? But it would be a crazy parallel universe. The guy who's never had sex versus the guy who has ten kids. I would, I would parallel universe I, that somehow and make it crazy. Probably, but as far as like leaning into that, as for for the sake of winning the battle, I don't need it. You probably got a bar in your head right now. Seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Um, so as far oh, as shit. as far as this battle goes, it was um um uh I, I, I'm gonna say this, bro. It because you told me last night, I remember you guys said they was trying to clown them, they trying to clown them, they talking crazy about units. I, I uh I will say a lot of it isn't warranted. Um, but he didn't. I don't think he got body bagged. I think it was a clear win, a definitely a clear win for Homsey, but it wasn't a body bag because because Eunice has some shit in there. He he put on a great show. You know what I mean? This Homsey just had to Homsey had to show him, like, look, bro, this welcome to the welcome to the big leagues, bro. This is it, you know what I'm saying? So I I wouldn't say Eunice is in a body bag, he, he got beat up. He got beat up. Somebody had to help him up off the ground, but they didn't have to like get the smelling salt and wake him up like 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 <laughs> an unconscious boxer. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but uh, yeah. So uh, Holmesy won at sixty four to thirty six. Uh, with that okay. being said, um, we're going to our next battle, and it's the only female battle on the card with Lady Caution versus Mallory X. Okay. Mallory goes out, goes first. This is the crazy. Hold on. This is the crazy thing, though. So, Caution choked in that battle. But, yeah, I'm looking, at polls, I'm looking at the polls right now. They got Caution winning 61 to 39%. I don't agree with that, man. I don't agree. Do I edge her to battle? I will. I would edge her to battle. But I don't think it's that. It's really not that far of a distance. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Mallory got into the, uh, she got into the English accent. She was doing some funny shit. She had some dope bars, some dope punches. Um, and I won't, I'm not taking away nothing from that. Uh, Because Caution, it was like a, she forgot something and she forgot a bar. She's like, what the? And then she got it back. Like mm -hmm. more of a, wasn't necessarily, necessarily a choke. Like it was a stumble. She got it back though, quick. It didn't take her like no twenty and thirty seconds, to, and she ain't looking no phone and none of that shit. Um, um, I do think she her round got stronger at the at towards the end. Caution stayed more consistent towards the end of her round, and she ended out strong. Whereas 
I think Mallory put a lot of her better material in the beginning, in the middle part of her round. So I think she might have fizzled out a little bit while Caution continued I'll to be. just stay out of. She wrote up basically in a one rounder. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't feeling Mallory's material at all. Um, oh. that, um, <laughs> that shit, that shit wasn't hidden for me. Um, she yeah. did have, she did have some moments like I felt like she was heating up. Then she kind of cooled down. She started heating up again. Then she's it was it was just it con, wasn't consistent for me. Um, and I felt like she left the door open for a uh, caution. And I was like, I was like, when after I heard Mallory's round, I was like, yo, this ain't enough, man. Oh, caution's about to wild out on her. Uh, <clears throat> and um, caution, she kind of she. Caution tends to do that sometimes. And I felt like I was like, nah, she ain't she ain't gonna let the gates down, man. And uh, she ended up uh bringing it back up and she she was locked in. She had the talking crazy in my DM X. It's gonna be dark. And don't, hell don't, you know, don't you know it's dark and hell is hot? Yeah, that yeah, was that fire. Was fire. Yeah, it, obviously. <laughs> one thing I like about caution is uh caution and rock is they got they always gonna have you some wrestling bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you got rock with the ad lib joint too. You feel yeah, me? Like, that's, like a, too. that's like a cheat code for real, man. Like, you, I, got, you got like I mean, the, the best ad libber in your battle. Yeah, this gonna help yeah. every time. I like the bar where a caution said, I'll leave X under the nine, like the letters on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. She was going hard. Um, Caution wasn't supposed to lose this battle. Like, wow. we, we both had caution in our predictions. Like, she wasn't supposed to lose. I don't think she... I've, I've seen her better. I've seen her better than this. This wasn't her best best showing. She did enough to win the battle. But as far as they saying, like, it was like a blowout, I don't think it was a blowout for real. Uh, I'm I'm actually surprised by the polls right now. Like, um, they got, they got caution. They got caution winning heavily, man. And especially... With it, you call it a slip up or a choke. She watched, she's she winning, she won the vote 61 to 39. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a mess up, <laughs> with That's a mess crazy, up, crazy man. Um, all right. Um, so let's go on to our next battle, and that is um, so Flair Soul versus the Saga. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. Uh, this could have been a better battle. Had the crowd, mm -hmm. crowd was kind of, the crowd was kind of messing with Saga or or talking. It kept messing up his momentum, and then uh, on top of that, Saga was choppy in certain little spots, and that that was messing up his momentum. Meanwhile, so Flair just had a dope round all the way from beginning to the end. Not everything was crazy, but it was it was a dope ass round. Saga. Had a lot of dope material. He didn't get it off clean. Plus, the crowd was messing him up a little bit. I don't know, man. It just in the terms of a battle, the optics, how this look. I had South Flair uh, getting this battle, even though I picked uh, pick, uh, Saga in the, in the predictions. But Saul got this one. You know? Yeah. So <laughs> I don't want to make no excuses. Right, he's got to be fair because Saul had some shit. Saga had a dope joint where he was... Um, he was imitating how South Flair raps. Yeah. <laughs> he said the mustard seed in the mountain and the, he delivered it like him and everybody was laughing. I said, yeah, Saga's smart as so, hell. So, so said Boston Massacre. It will be bad for you if I jog your memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a, he had a, he had a few, few cold a, bars. He had some bombs. He had some haymakers. He shook the building a couple times. And I knew South Flair was putting the heat up, especially... You know, being at home, um, that he said, he, it's some flares. So said, he said, pull something extending saga and spin off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so I like, I saga had some, some, some fire material though. He said, my bad, y'all. I'm just running down accolades on soul. It's the Jordan, the, the Jordan team. It's the Jordan team. It's um, the Jordan team. Well, I, 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 like, saga's always going to have. A lot of fire material every battle. He's one of the best battle rappers there is in terms of writing, performance, 
being consistent. And one of my favorite ones was uh, he said he said they said the scream looked like soul, but the killer sound like jazz. Like jazz, like jazz. Yeah, man. Saga. I I think Saga had a lot of moments in this battle. I I liked what he had. I you know his pen is crazy though. I, we ain't gonna deny that. But I, like you said, I think the crowd screwed that up and messed that up though. I think he he could have had probably more moments, and I think kind of messed up his momentum also for this battle with the crowd. Yeah, there. man, it wasn't. He wasn't able to get into his full zone for this battle, man. So. Even though he had some dope material, and you probably could argue he might have had a little slightly better material, just the overall aesthetic of it, the overall delivery from Safflair uh, uh, and the bars. Safflair wasn't playing. He took this opportunity He's very serious. I got to I gotta give, give it to him by edge. Give it to Soul by edge. But it was a good battle. It was All a good right. battle. So this was technical. So this next battle was. Uh, so by the way, uh, Saga won this one seventy one to twenty nine. Um, this next battle. Um, wait, wait, who who won it? Uh, so Flair won seventy one to twenty nine. Oh wow! Damn. All right. So this battle was was actually the co main event, and this was Prez Mafia versus Northeast Tay. I'm not even gonna waste that much time on it. I had a. Uh, I had um I had Prez, Prez, bro. I told clear. you, I told you in the predictions. <laughs> I was wrong about this one. I picked Northeast Day. I don't know why I picked Northeast Day, man. <laughs> oh my oh god, my. man. When I was <laughs> when I see Prez, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking, man? Like, are you are you serious? <laughs> man, listen, and Northeast Tay has some dope shit. He there was times where it felt like some lines he didn't deliver with as much confidence as he should yeah. have, especially going up against somebody like Prez who has a dope delivery. And Northeast you said Tay on her, and you said not, on our prediction, you was like, yo, I haven't seen anything. Northeast Tay has done that showed me that he could be Prez Mafia. No, not yet, bro. He and and he wasn't going to be able to beat Prez either, bro. I told you, there's no happened. hate on Northeast Tay because he got some, he got a lot of potential that he has yet to unlock. However, it, it's like I be feeling like these these newer battlers, they get in front of the the veterans, and it's like they they're learning on the fly, and they should. They should, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why when I battle newer names or whoever it might be, I just want them to learn something from the battle, whether they won yeah. or lost. But yeah, Prez, I was, I was like, man, where has this Prez Mafia been at, man? I was like, holy shit. The thing about Prez, bro, is 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 be him. He's his worst enemy. It's not, it's not his skill set. It's him taking these battles serious. Him saying, you know what, I really want to rap and go crazy. Because his, his 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 skill was never in question. His pen, his bars, that was never in question. It was always just him. Like, is Prez going to show up and take this shit serious? You know this what I'm saying? Dude this dude he he Prez, had a point to prove. Prez said headshot. You know where the bullet went? Ballistics! <laughs> Come on! Finish him. Man, listen, Prez, Prez showed the that old 2013, 2014 Prez, man, when he was on his run, man. And again, he comes from my PG class. Me and Prez came from the same class, bro. So I don't, I don't know why people would have doubted him, but I guess I guess I can't understand why they would doubt him because every he don't he don't be this Prez every time, even though he can be. It's just on him. And I do I, I think he said like at the end of the battle, like. He, he outside, like he out, he want all the smoke. So I do, I feel 20. like he, he's he got the drive back 80 to 20. He's got the drive to, back. Yeah, 80% votes that he won in this battle, man. Yeah, well, Prez, I mean, I, there's no other Prez, way you really could have called that. Prez, I kind of felt like Prez was on overkill in this bad, like going to the middle of his round. I was like, oh, I was like, man, Prez already won this battle, man. He, he's just. He's just toying with him. Right yeah, now. yeah. He won pretty early on in his round. He already the battle was already done. Um, and again, like how you was talking about um leaving the door open, Northeast Tate round, it was dope, but it wasn't one of those I don't know what prayers can do. Like it wasn't one of those like 
Oh shit! Like there's nothing Prez can say to beat this. Like nah, yeah, he made all it. He Prez made... had to do was just get through his round. It wasn't, bro. it wasn't a bad round. It was a it was it was a good round, but it was a beatable round. And like you said, he left the door open. All right, Tay. Moving forward, man, you got to be the beast that you can be. That's all Bar guy yeah. want to see out of you. Be the beast that you can be. And you all should right. not have played with Prez, bro. All right, but anyway, uh, let's go to the main event. So before we get to the main event, I just want to tell you the polls for this one. It's uh, Foots and Elijah Straight. Uh, Foots won wins this one 59% to 41 over Elijah Straight. A lot of good reviews on this battle. People saying this is a battle year type of battle. Uh, do you think it's a battle of the year type of battle? Um, In the top 10, yeah, I will put it in there. If, if we go on top tier, top ten so far, let's put that in there, man. It is, it is a battle year contender, but is it the best battle of the year? I'm not I, sure. I don't I, think so. I can't, I can't, I can't say that because I can't, I can't downplay what Bill Collector and Tay Rock did, man. Like for me, a battle gotta be so good where the entire culture is talking about, it and the culture is talking about it. Like this is that like rock and Bill was so good. Me and you end up doing a bar breakdown on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we I think we need to do a bar breakdown on this one though, for real. Because okay, Eliza Straight well, was was wilding. So let's let's how you call this then? No, I you know what man? You know I I got Eliza winning this third. I got Eliza winning this third. I got him winning the third. Foots, Foots might have like stole those first two rounds, and when I say stole, like Elijah Straight actually, he was winning those rounds. He like, like he had he had done enough to where he, those rounds were he'd won, and then Foots shows up with you know he he shows up with his round immediately after, and and what I liked about what Foots did, Elijah Straight second round was crazy too, right? Foots immediately gets right to his shit. He didn't wait for no, all right, y'all calm down. Okay, uh, bottom of the second. He didn't wait for none of that. He went right into his round as soon as Elijah stopped rapping. I thought he was like finna rebuttal some shit. Like, man, Foots, listen, man, Foots, I think he stole round one and two, bro. And he had, I was tweeting. Y'all can check my timeline. I was tweeting out the bars from both MCs. I was highly impressed by both, but I do feel like it's a lot of shit. We might have, like, I think Elijah Stray might have slipped past some bars that probably went over people's heads, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I don't want to just say it was a clear, but watching on first watch, I think uh, Foots got them first two rounds, and it made me feel like, yo, man, like, have I been sleeping on Foots? Man, that's a bar right there. I've been sleeping on foot. <laughs> now I got a cramp in my shit. <laughs> like, but anyway, now nah, I've seen a lot of creative shit from both of these gentlemen. This was very entertaining battle. If you're a bar, if you're a bar lover, these guys provided a lot of bars for y'all to break down, a lot of bars for y'all to catch. Damn. Uh back and forth, all three rounds. There was no slack round from either man. It lived up to the hype. They they said, I remember Kells. I remember uh, Drake Dennis, me and you, we were saying that this was going to be one of the better battles. And a lot of people said this was going to be battle of the weekend. And I was like, nah, I got Ace and Kid Slade. But that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Uh, Bill yeah. and Wusai didn't battle. This is the battle of the of the event. Yeah. Three, six bad. rounds of fire. Should... Foots to one. <laughs> Great been the main job. Event. It should have been the main event. Um... This is a this is this is a tough battle to call, man. I I uh I I underestimated Elijah straight, man. Hey, yo, this, this was this like was, the best Elijah I've seen ever. Yeah, ever. this was this was yeah this was uh, this performance. It reminded me when during the Ultimate Madness that type of performance he had against Next. Um, uh, and uh, you know, despite what happened with him and Dex, people might have said he got robbed, but I, I felt like that type of performance, I felt that type of vibe and energy. 
And that if we see Elijah straight like this moving forward, yeah, yeah, going forward, he's man, he's gonna be a real, real problem. Not this, saying he's not a problem now, but if he stay where he at, shout out to my man K Jack. K Jack be like, stay right there, stay I right think, there. I think, <laughs> shout I out think to K Jack. Elijah, Elijah Straight was really good. Um, his first round was good, but I think that might have been his lightest round. I think as the battle kept on going, he, he, he he, yeah, he rolled up. Yeah, he rolled up. He yeah, rolled up. Yeah, because after his first, he was after his first, he was like, "Yo, I'm about to turn up right by next round." He <laughs> did. He did, and that's what impressed me even more about Foots because when Eliza Straight turned up, Foots turned right back up. Yeah, you gotta think was, about this. Look, I'm gonna say this: like Foots, beginning of a Foots round, he was like, "This ain't gonna be no old long ass run nitty round. Don't trip, don't trip. Ain't gonna be no." And then he just start wilding. Then I think two bars in, he said some crazy shit. Two bars in, let niggas know what type of time he was on, bro. Yeah, yo, it's so many bars. I'll, I'm gonna do a bar breakdown for this battle once it drop. Me and Keo, we gonna sit here and do the. We gonna figure out who won. You know what I'm saying? How about that? Because I, I'm gonna say I got foots, but I'm not super super confident that yeah. that's what actually happened. Yeah, yeah, it's a close battle. It's tough to call, man. Like I, I see people people saying that Elijah won. I see people say Foots won. Like Elijah had a lot of moments in this battle, though. Um, so did Foots, and this this was a very close battle, oh, man. man. This shit, it come down to the bars, man. But I did have Elijah getting that that. I'm gonna I'm, let me ask you this, because to me, Elijah got the third round. That's no, what I do. Is. I got I got him winning the third also. All right. So if you were gonna give Elijah straight one of the other rounds, which one would it be? It gotta be the second. Yeah, yeah it would have to be the second, right? The first, because the first. foot foots was too crazy in that first. Yeah, foot, yeah, and that's when Elijah started heating up. Um, so so I, is it I, possible that Elijah won the second and third? Yeah, that is a, is a good possibility though, man. I that this is just off a of first watch from what I see though. Like this battle Elijah, deserves a rewatch. I'm not finna sit up here and spoil all no bars because I, I did tweet a lot of bars. I'm gonna do a bar breakdown. Y'all need to go watch this battle and determine for yourself. Either way it go, I don't think no man actually lost. And I, I know people, I know that's one of the things people always say, but this is one of those ones where it's like even if you say foots two one, Elijah didn't necessarily lose this battle, bro. Like, cause this was the wow. best I've ever seen him, and I'm excited to second see what round. he does going second forward. Round. It comes down to the second round, man. That's what it comes down to. The second I don't round. know, cause foots was foots <laughs> was saying some shit in that second, bro. That's why I was like, no, bro. Because at the part, listen, by the end of the second round, I'm I'm but the end of both of their second, right? I'm like. No, let no. Is it too? Is it too old? It can't be too old because Elijah's going too crazy. It can't be too old right now. Yeah. And, and I was like, like, nah, it's that's too old, round man. Close though, because first round, <laughs> first round puts third round Elijah. Second round, it, it just you just got you you guys got to watch it again though, man. But that's uh, all. I'm I, I'll first watch though. I had foot stealing. That's and again, that's the word I'm using. He stole the round. Because I feel like Eliza had done enough to win the them, them rounds, bro. So and Foot snatched the shit from him. So um great battle. Great yeah. battle, man. Yeah, it's a good battle. It's a good battle. Um, so we both agreed this was the battle of the night. Yeah, clear. Who had performance? But the, but, but the the uh okay, performance of the whole shit. Damn, damn performance. Yo, Pete Black, listen, Pete Black really did go crazy, bro. All right, he's his, he's a standout. My top, my he's top a standout. Five, but top five, per, top five yeah, performances of the night, I got I got to give it to Foots, Foots, Elijah Strait. Yeah, you got throw Jay Kruger and um, yep, and, yep. and Pete Black in there. And That's three the and four. One, I think the last one, I'm going with Prez Mafia, man. Prez, you, can't, Prez, you can't be wrong with Prez, bro. No fucking, man. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Go ahead, Prez. You going crazy, bro. You going crazy. We want to see you. Hey, like, shout out to k -Jack. But like k said, stay right there. Stay right there. 
Like, don't don't change shit. Like, stay in that zone you in right there, man. So, and same thing for you, Elijah Straight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they don't. They, I, I call it the same way, though. Yeah, so it's gonna be foot. Elijah Straight. Uh, who? Well, we both got Kruger winning, so I guess Kruger would have to be above Pete Black in terms of before because yeah. Kruger was actually rebuttaling and doing extra shit in the. And Prez, Prez is that five for me. Those are the top five performers, man. Uh, shout out to Kale. Shout out to uh, Drake Dennis. The Gates win this war. The Gates win this <laughs> league on league. That's how we called it. I'm, we're being fair. I rock with both leagues. Uh, but the Gates, they 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 pulled off the, the victory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, At yeah. Martinez. And they won on the road, Keo. Yeah, they were. The the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kel, well, Kel feels like the, the, the OSBO one. So. That's how she feels. Yeah. What? I got to see how she called these battles. 